Welcome to our new series focuses on AWS Lambda, a key pillar in the AWS serverless ecosystem. Performance optimization in AWS Lambda involves a set of strategies to maximize Lambda function efficiency and responsiveness. This is crucial because even small delays or inefficiencies in serverless environment can lead to higher cost and degraded user experience. Here are three details, strategies for reducing cold start time, optimizing memory allocation, and tuning concurrency settings. As the first strategy, we have reducing cold start times. Cold start occurs when AWS Lambda function is invoked after being idle for a period requiring AWS to provision a new instance of the function. Reducing cold start times is vital for performance-sensitive applications and can be achieved by going through four points. As the first one, we have pre-warming. Manually invoking AWS Lambda functions at regular intervals to keep the function warm, or using plugins and third-party services that automate this process. Optimizing the function code as a second point. Simplifying the function dependency tree reducing the package size by re removing unnecessary dependencies and using lighter framework or SDKs. As a third point, we have provision concurrency. Allocating a specific number of Lambda instances that are always warm and ready to respond instantly to invocations. Using faster runtime as a fourth point. Choosing runtime that start up more quickly, such as providing newer version of Node.js or Python. As a second strategy, we have optimizing memory allocation. Memory allocation directly influences CPU's allocation and consequently, the execution speed of Lambda functions. Too little memory can slow down a function, while too much can raise costs unnecessarily. Three important aspects need to be keep in mind. Benchmarking is the first aspect. Testing Lambda functions with different memory settings to find the optimal configuration where the execution time and costs are balanced. Right sizing as a second aspect. Regularly analyzing the performance metric and adjusting memory allocation based on current usage pattern and demands. Monitoring tools as third aspect, using AWS Lambda inside or third-party tools to gain details visibility into memory usage patterns and make informed adjustment. As a third strategy, we have tuning concurrency settings. Concurrency controls involves managing the number of instances serving requests at any given time. It affects how Lambda scales and how it can handle sudden burst of traffic. Three important points need to be keep in mind. Preserve concurrency as the first point. Setting a specific number of Lambda instances that are allocated exclusively for a function to ensure availability during spike in request volume. Concurrency limit as a second point. Establishing upper limit to prevent a single function from consuming excessive resources, which can lead to throttling of other critical functions in the same account. Adaptive concurrency as a third point. Using advanced AWS features or third-party tools to adjust concurrency levels based on real-time workload analysis dynamically. Thank you and bye for now.